Good morning. It's another day in paradise. Uh, currently, I am still in Colombia. And today's episode is going to be on buying real estate in another country. Lago Calima, Colombia. But before I go get into that, I just want to let you guys know I will be here until the 3rd of September. And I'll be, I will be in San Francisco, California. In San Francisco, California, I will be attending the Academy of Art University in San Francisco for the semester. So I'll be there until December. And then I'll fly back here probably mid-December. So enough of that. So let's get into it. Basically, I want to show you guys my experience with buying real estate in another country. I didn't buy any real estate in the US. This was an opportunity back in 2007. I'll show you on Google Earth currently where this property is located. Check it out. I purchased a piece of land in the on the continent of South America in the country of Colombia on a lake. So I'm going to just show you a brief introduction before I show you the actual land that I that I purchased and I purchased this land 8 years ago and when I purchased the area is very historical naturalistic type of area. So <clears throat> I bought I bought this piece of property probably 12 years ago and according when when I bought the just it was just a piece of land and this is when I was just starting to get into real estate and now I'm going full fledged I finally broke these bar barriers in my mind of fear and just ready to go all I'm going all in so this is my journey and my step by step like what it takes to to purchase I know this is the most scariest thing, especially for an American, to do. But I just—it was just something that I just had. I know when I retire, I want to retire in a foreign country, not in the U.S. I was born in the Philippines. My first, my first foreign country was the U.S. But I just see a lot of family and friends retired, and they—they they just look so horrible, and they feel horrible, and. Something about the U.S. Yeah, it's, you get you go there, grab your resources, and then just build in another country, and and that's what I'm doing. But I got a little. I'm gonna buy a property in the Bay Area, where I grab my resources and I learn and study. So I'll be in the Bay Area. Um, that's the only place that I'll invest because real estate out there, you buy anything. Just like this property I bought in South America, the price of it. This, I bought the property. I think it was like 2007. I want to say 20,000 for 20,000. Now the property is worth 100,000. So when I bought it here in in Colombia, the way it's broken up like neighborhoods is broken up into six six levels. One being the worst, six being majestic, almighty. When I bought the piece of property, it was just level two. This year, I was told that it's in level six because of the building. So let's jump into it. So Lago, as you can see, Lago Calima, Calima Valle de Cauca, Colombia. So as you can see, there it is. Let's let it spin for a minute. This is something different that I'm just I'm going to put this at the beginning of of this episode to give give you guys understanding. So as this thing starts so this is Kalima Lake, that's what they call it, but in Spanish it's called Lago Kalima. So as you can see, just let it spin. It's just doing a 360 spin. I mean, see how long that lake is? It's a pretty long lake. So it's coming coming around. 
I'm gonna go read a little background on this. Kalima Lake, Lake in Colombia. Kalima Lake is a large reservoir in western Colombia, north of the city of Cali. The lake's main water sports hub is Entrada Cinco, a beach on the no north bank, close by in the town of Darien. The Kalima Archaeology Archaeological Museum has many pre-Columbian artifacts on a nearby hill. The Matador Alto tri Tribunus viewpoint overlooks much of the lake. To the west, the forested Rio Bravo Nature Reserve has wildlife and waterfalls. Yeah, it's a natural nature reserve. So surface elevation, 1,500 meters, area 700 kilometers squared, length 13 kilometers, fish. I didn't even know they had fish in there but that's the fish here's a little map of what it looks like entire from here to here so show you a couple pictures what it looks like It's beautiful. It's they call it the little well the area that I purchased my piece of land. It's they call it little little Switzerland. This is like down at the bottom. They have a lot of music festivals, electronic especially. It's that waterfall. Windsurfing is big out here. Okay, so I'll take you guys to where my property is located. Let me close this out. Okay, as you can see, this city, Entra remember they was talking about the Entrada, Entrada Cinco. This is where a lot of activity goes down. This is the city that a lot of people live, live in. So that's if you want that city life, but I'm gonna show you where I bought property. I'm gonna have to go to the roads. Okay, as you can see in this sector right here, this they call this little little Switzerland. So, and I'm about I'm gonna take you I'm gonna take you in closer right here. Just, just dive in here. Boom. Okay, so I'm up this hill. I'm just gonna. I'm just on this corner. I know it very well. As you can see, they call this little area Little Switzerland. As you can see, they're doing some construction right here. I bought it real cheap. I, it's just something. I can I, and then I just can't believe like how how much it, it has grown. So I'm gonna take you guys up, up the mountain here, to where where I'm located. Almost there. Take you on this little journey. Here we are, this corner right here. This is where. This is the this is the corner. So all oh, this is mine. This road. I used to own a little piece of land back here, but I sold that. It was just this one. It was much more. I'm gonna go up up here some. To the show you guys where. Okay, so as you can see, I own, it's a lot. I own from here, you see this this right here? And then it comes in, well, I, I can't really go in that, that deep, but all this, I'll try to outline it. Within this, all this, within the fence, this right here, to this pole right here, and then to this pole, it comes across like this. But it goes more deeper that way, so it comes out real deep, deep. I, I just it just is up a hill. This is on a hill, and it, this it it's like a downslope. So this is where the magic is gonna happen. So this is phase one. 
So as you can see, this plot of land, this is where I'm going to build my finca right here. So I'm going to go back down here to the corner. So we'll start from here. So I'll show you a close up. Okay. So there you have it. I showed you where it's located. I just want to give you guys a little background information that I've currently come across purchasing this piece of land. I bought this property back in 2007 for, there you go, mommy, for $12,000. Today, this piece of land is worth one one thousand to two thousand dollar just for the as of today. One hundred thousand to two hundred thousand dollars. I've been getting offers just for the land alone. So I'm gonna show you guys another video where I'm building on this property. I am currently standing in the middle of my property in Lago Calima, Colombia. Those two gentlemen are building a construction material storage unit. As you can see that fence, that's where the property ends. That gentleman in blue shirt, that's where the property divides along those rocks. You can see more rocks here. Those are within my property. As you can see, these tall bushes, that's where my property ends. Uh, that piece of equipment is there to level out the land. And they are currently discussing how to level the land to set the house on top. There you have it. And now you've seen the video of, of the property that I have. Once I build on it, it will be worth half a mil because it's on a natural reserve and it's also on a man-made lake. This piece of property is high up in the, in the mountains in Colombia, high in the mountains. I'm talking the air is so clean that it every every second you're breathing in the purest form of air in the world. So I'm gonna show you another video. Hello, Megan. She is a French bulldog. I'm currently standing on the corner of my property. That's some branches that I gotta clean up. As you can see, they're still surveying the land up there talking about how they're going to level it. This is what it looks like as of today, 2019. The Google Earth that I showed you, it's outdated by years. That's what it looks like across the street from my property. This is just a different view on how my property looks. On that. So that's it. I just wanted to show you guys this property that I have in Colombia, which is in Lago Calima. So this is going to be my retirement where I'm going to retire when I get older. But in the meantime, also, I'm going to rent, rent it out. So buying real estate in another country is possible until tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is I'll be going over business. So until then. Peace.